So now we are uh, trying to look at the converting fraction. Let's say 4 over 5. We have a fraction. So this is the fractional form. We are moving uh, fraction to uh, let's say it is a decimal and then we are going again fraction the same thing fraction to percentage okay so in this case 4 over 5 if i ask you to go decimal you can is it if you have a kind of a number in the denominator that you is a factor of 100 or 10 then it's easy uh, you can easily convert it to decimal how because if you just multiply by 2 so this is basically I am starting with the 4 over 5 that's the original number so we can write down this as a like a multiplying by 2 in up and down like it's a denominator numerator to make it 10 here and then this is 8 so this why we are creating 10 because creating 10 100 thousand is easily we can convert it to the decimal which is 0 0.8 but this is not easy and always it's not uh, you are not getting the factor of uh, 10 or 100 so in that case you have to do the long division and i will show you an one example before going the next one can we uh, express that 4 over 5 in terms of a percentage so again 4 over 5 is equivalent to 4 over 5 times of 100% as I said I am multiplying without changing the value by putting 100% and now we have to just simplify it so 5 goes for 100 which is 20 5 times 20 is 100 so 4 times 20 is 80% so it means 4 over 5 is equivalent to or equal to 80% uh, if I give another example which is 17 over 10 let's say we have a 17 over 10 and asking to convert to decimal so this is straight away you can write 1.7 because we are dividing by 10 so your decimal which is silent here this would be moving towards the left because you are reducing the number by 10 times so okay now uh, it is 1.7 is the decimal if I said 17 over 10 we express in terms of percentage this is basically 17 over 10 times of 100 percent which is giving us so 10 10 uh, 10 times 10 basically 100 so we have 10 there so 17 times 10 which is 170 percent now if the question says you are not getting 10 or 5 then it's not always easy let's say we have uh, let's say we have 8 over 8 over 3 so you can't make 10 or 100 right so in that case you have to do the long division to get the decimal what you can do 8 divided by 3 so it is basically 3 times 2 is 6 2 is there then you have to go for decimal point to bring extra 0 so it's a 20 3 times 6 is 18 then 2 is left another again is 2 is left so you are putting another 20 and coming again 6 which is uh, oh sorry it's 18 again 18 and then 2 left so always 2 is coming so it means if you write down this it is 2.6 recur because 6 is repeating right 2.6 recur so 8 over 3 is basically 2.6 recur if I ask you to convert that in percentage, then it would be 8 over 3 equals to 8 over 3 times 100 percent. And then basically you are dividing 100 over 3, which is 33.333, something like that, right? So it is basically 8 times 33.33 uh, Rika like that. So if you multiply that, and this is the percentage. And if you multiply that, it will be 267 percent. Okay, because we know that 26666 is coming. So it's basically 266.6 or 266.7 percent. We used to write down the uh, percentage without the uh, 
decimal, that's fine. So if you just leave it 267%, that's fine. Okay, so it means if you have a fraction that is not a fact, the denominator is not a factor of 10 or 100, then the procedure of getting the de uh, decimal or uh, the decimal number, you have to do the long division. And then again, it doesn't matter what sort of fraction it is there, what sort of number is there, in order to convert it to the percentage, we just need to multiply with the 100% and then simplify it.